22 million to spend and we still got one more signing that we can make. I think it's very obvious where we need that improvement. Schmidt, although he's got 5-star skills and 5-star weak for these 32 and he's as quick as a turtle, like 59 pace. Nah, we need, we need, we need a bit more quality in that position. The hunt for a CDM will be on in this episode, but it's gonna be hectic because we've got transfer deadline day coming up. Not much time left. In other news, poor Unai Simon is getting completely trolled for his ridiculous goalkeeping error. Take a look at what he did in the last step. And of course, ooh, how have we kept Bruh. that in? What on earth has just happened? Unai Simon saves it. No, oh my God. What was that? Okay, 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 okay. The reaction to that mistake, Unai Simon's hands are more slippery than any kind of, you know what? I'm not going to say it. I don't want this video getting demonetized. What do you mean by that? But of course, this was big. We signed Gavi in the last episode. How incredible of a transfer this could be. Big episode ahead of us, folks, as we got transfer stuff to get through, plus more La Liga action. Somehow, we're 7th in the league. If you're enjoying this series, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's begin. Press conference, and we're already starting with the big questions. You need to give Press a new contract as he's just got 11 months left on it. The thing is, guys, it's not just Pressa. Players like Thomas Casas, who are big for the team, Cabrera as well, Javier Pressa, as we just spoke about, all of them have their contracts expiring. So I guess once we're done with all our transfer business, we'll see how much money we've got left and we'll get to renewing their deals. We need to get on this before January. You know what? We may have a comment in the season contender right here. Try signing Fernandinho as he's fairly high rated at 83 and will drop his overall, but he could use his experience and he doesn't have bad stats either. Let's see, guys. Fernandinho, what is he looking like? I, I think it's going to be a bit tricky if we don't have much information on him, which we don't. I've put him up for scouting, but it'll still take about, like, what, 15 days? We're going to have to make a bet on him. Honestly, I don't think there's much to lose. I think we can get him for 4 to 5 million. For one season, we'll have a very experienced player. He'll be one of the highest rated players in the team. And that veteran that we need, we'll get that. Yo, this would be perfect. Fernandinho, Gallardo and Gavi in midfield. I think we're building something. It's got to be him. Next up, try converting Cortez to a CDM. He'll be able to get more time. And as you said, he's a decent player. You know what? There's a reason that's an unpopular opinion. Cortez has scored 60 defending. That's literally his worst attribute. He ain't playing CDM. For the second episode in a row, Javier Pressa, the talisman of this side, picks up later the episode. He is just not stopping at this rate. The performances he keeps putting in, incredible. And let's hope we can see Pressa continue to establish himself as a cult hero. He's just unreal. And guys, transfer deadline day is here. We don't really have much of a choice. I want to get a CDM. I don't want to spend an absolute ridiculous amount of money, guys. So I think Fernandinho is the option. That will leave us with cash to run with for January as well, which I really want. So I'm going to just go in with an offer for Fernandinho and just hope for the best. He's versatile, can play as a centre-back if needed. I think he's perfect. Plus, the experience of winning so many titles, I think, will be invaluable. I'm going to do this, guys. I feel like we've signed so many young players. We need that veteran in the dressing room. And I want it to be Fernandinho. I really think Fernandinho could be the man. We're negotiating with Mr. Pep Guardiola for this one. What on earth is Pep wearing though? Well, anyways, it looks like just the city top from the front. We don't know much about this. So I think 5 million is his value. I'm just going to offer that. 5 million for Fernandinho. That works. I think I've overpaid now. I feel like I've overpaid. We'll only find out once we sign him. Hopefully, I haven't overpaid for Fernandinho. I'm nervous to find out his overall and valuation, guys. Here we are negotiating with Mr. Fernandinho himself. It's going to be a bit tricky, man. It is going to be a bit tricky. I think it's pretty obvious here. We're going to have to give him that crucial squad role. No two ways about it. A two-year deal. Okay, Fernandinho wants to play until he's like 38. With the realism mod, he might be able to retain his overall if his performances are good. No release clause, we don't know how much to pay him. And that's a problem. I'm gonna go 50,000. Hopefully I'm not overpaying and 100,000 in signing bonus. Is that a good offer? That's the real question. It isn't, it isn't. My client won't be joining your club and we can't negotiate again. This is the problem when you're trying to rush a transfer on deadline day. Oh my 
god, we've just been kicked out. No Fernandinho, he was literally the perfect transfer. We're gonna have to improvise. Okay, guys, you lot won't believe what I'm about to do. Marouan Fellaini is what I'm looking to sign now. Hey, yo, what the f***? You might be thinking, are you an idiot for doing this? Guys, first of all, that hairstyle, that's probably the, the best pro point I can give for Fellaini. But nah, for real, for real though, for real though, I think he'll be decent for us. He's certainly an upgrade over Schmidt. He should retain his overall for at least a season. I think it's a smart signing. There weren't really any other options like Lucas Biglia. We had Ibora, but that's about it really. I'm looking for a bit of experience. Fellaini has that experience. Yeah, I know he's a bit of a meme, but what if he becomes a cult hero for us? So as crazy as it sounds, I'm trying to sign Marwan Fellaini for my club. I'm going to start this, this with a 2.2 million offer. I don't want to be paying too much money. They want Cortez. I don't want to give them Cortez. No need for that, guys. No need. I'll give you the 3 million. You can keep it. 3 million for Fellaini. We, we're left with about 19 million, which could come massively helpful in like the January window. And that works. 3 million. This time, though, we got to be careful with the wages. I think Marwan Fellaini will accept low wages, guys. So I'm going to... I'm going to offer him, let's say, about 30k. That's what I'm thinking. We offer him 30k. We'll give him rotation squad rule. Will he accept that? He wants important. Fair enough. He values himself. That means he should be at a decent rating. Are we actually going to sign Marwan Fellaini? Can't believe this. Wow. Really can't. Two-year deal is what I'll give him. Perfect. He wants a release clause. We're not putting that on here. We aren't putting that on here. Now, salary. On deadline day, Marwan Fellaini is going to be joining us. Well, he's going to be helpful for social media things, at least, because he is a meme player, you could say. And that's the offer. No way, man. That's the second player that's kicked us out. Can't believe this. What am I supposed to offer them? I think now it's time to look for a Spaniard in Cesc Fabregas. What did he say? Hey! We know about him. This is going to make it a lot easier. Maybe I should have just gone for him initially. 76 rated. We can probably convert him into a CDM, which is where we want to use him. I think we can make this work. He's not going to be that destroyer of a CDM. He's going to control the game mostly. We can maybe rotate him and Schmidt and it could work. We could settle for Cesc Fabregas, I guess. Oh my lord. Okay. Contracts expiring. We could get a deal on this. We cannot mess this up. It's my third time trying to sign a player. 2.6 million is going to be my offer. 2.9. They can have a sell-on clause on him. That was easy. Now, hopefully, we don't mess this up. We'll give him an important squad role, which he will accept. Brilliant to see. There's Fabregas. We'll give him a two-year deal as well. That works for me. The interesting part, release class, we're going to deny that. But the more interesting part is the wages. Do we match? I think we got to. We got to at this stage match his wages at Monaco. We'll give him a 100,000 signing bonus. That's a big contract we're paying for a 34-year-old. And he accepts it. Finally, third time's the charm. You know what, guys? I see a lot of value in this deal. 2.9 million for someone who's played so much La Liga football. Great stats. A dead ball specialist. Can't go wrong with it, I feel. I really feel that. Now, can we convert him to a CDM? That's the real question. I don't think we can. We're just going to have to play him at CDM, I guess, and, and, and just be good with it. I don't think it's going to really have that much of an impact because he can play there. But I don't know if we've made the right call. I guess only time will tell. Oh, he loses six overalls playing in CDM, guys. Oh, my God. We're going to have to get him used to playing in that position. Oh, he doesn't lose the six. He still loses them. Have I made a mistake here, guys? Let me know. And with that, boys, I'm done with all deadline day antics. This is going to be the squad we rock for at least until January and we'll see how things go. Good thing is we've kept about 19, actually let's let's make it like 15 million for January. That's going to be key. Time to get back into some La Liga action as we take on Real Sociedad. We're going to give Fabregas his debut, hopefully adapt to the CDM position, otherwise we could be in a bit of trouble. I don't know if I made the right call with that signing man. I really don't know. But anyways, we are going to change the kits of Real Sociedad. Uh, yeah, we, we can't play with that kind of a kit clash. We'll do this and it should sort things out. That's going to be the team we're rocking. Let's go. I love this shot of Javier Presa. Three goals in his last three games. Here we go. Another big game and look at that. Cesc Fabregas playing at S2G Club, the football, making his debut. This is what I expect from him to ping the ball from one side to the other. 
Already we're off to a good start. Some really neat football. And Lopez is on the charger. Could he cut this one back? He tries to clear it away. That's the first time I'm seeing Lopez have a bit of an impact. Okay, okay, okay. On the breakaway, Mikel Arzabal is running at us. But Fabregas just took him out there. And look at him play here. Unreal from Fabregas. If that's the level we're getting from him, I think we're sorted. Silva, Mikel Arzabal. Subi Mendy, that's good defending from our club as we bring it forward with Fabregas. The one thing's there, his distribution is going to be unreal. Gallardo, now spreading it wide for Lopez to run onto. I'm going to play that cross at the back post for pressure. If he can get there, gets there. It's chaos. As somehow, Munoz catches it for Sociedad. This is going to be a tough game at home. Real Sociedad are one of the better clubs in Spain. Okay, okay, okay. Real Sociedad on nope. the charge. That's good defending. Love to see it. Here's Gavi, fresh off scoring an incredible goal on his debut. Pressa now. Fabregas, going to use him to just move the ball around. I think that's the most satisfying thing to do with Fabregas. Just pinging the ball from one direction to the other. Pressa now, looking for Gavi. Sees that pass, come on. Oh, that's a good ball, but that should be Unai Simons. Mikel Arzabal. Oh, that was a bad one. And they've got nope. a chance here, Unai Simon, with a solid save. He needs that, guys. He needs that after the mistake in the last episode. Pressa. That is so well done to find Gavi. Gets taken out, referee. That's so unfair. Pablo Gavi. I see the ball out wide for Lopez. Heads it down. We keep control of it. Cesc Fabregas. Sees that pass for Pressa. Now he sees our number 10, Navarro. Can he bring it inside is the real question. Keeps hold of it. Sees Gavi. Pressa now. On the turn. Gets, uh, that's a good sliding challenge. Can't complain. It's been a very tight game against La Real. This is looking like a game which, you know, one goal decides everything. Because Real Sociedad seem to be good defensively. Going forwards, they are able to create that one odd chance. So, it's been a very tight game. And I think it's going to be a key moment that decides everything. Oh, that's a very good ball out wide for Porto. Bruh. Tries to beat me then. Does so brilliantly. Goes for goal. You're not stopping that, are you? Unbelievable from Porto. He's known for that. Just unbelievable play. Fair play. Fair play. Can't blame Unai Simon for that. It was a great goal. It's Gallardo on the charge. Gets taken out as well. And I, I don't know what the referee's playing at in this one. Oh, Porto has gone through again. We're not catching up to him. Alonso is going to try, but it's, it's not looking possible. He goes for the ball in. That is one of the best defensive plays I've seen from Alonso. Fair enough. Gallardo does him there. Yeah, he goes now. Chance. Ah, oh, that's brilliant defending. We're still finding spaces in this game, guys, and that's key. Fabregas. That's good play from him. That's good play from him. Still keeps it. Looks wide for Pablo Gavi, and here we go with Gavi now. This is looking nice. Lovely ball for Pressa. What a chance. No, he's hit it straight out the keeper. Pressa. How? That was your chance. What fantastic football from Gavi there. Fabregas again. Gallardo, I need to see Pressa make that run, he has. Here goes Pressa, if he can get it on his right foot, does so. Curls it, but Ryan again with the save. Did they sub off their keeper? I think they did. Gonna see if Team Press can work, because we, we need to get the ball ASAP and create something. So, just gonna start pressing a bit more, but it's, I think, gonna backfire, because Porto is on the attack. He's done me again. He's done me twice now, goes for goal. What a save from Unai Simon, but the rebound was a bit too much. To deal with Real Sociedad doubled at advantage. I don't think we can beat the likes of Real Sociedad and all, man, this season. Those guys are just a level above us, like, honestly. Oh, uh, once again, we're just getting ripped apart, and it's Porto again. How good is he? Guys, 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 I think uh, this is the first time I've seen this happen. It's a handball penalty. Oh my god. Realism mod kicking in big time here. I need a replay. Okay, so it came off a set piece from a corner. Oyarzabal takes it. And let us let me just show you what happened here. We zoom in. It comes off uh, a, a Real Sociedad player. Hits the ribs. No, it hits the hand. It hits the hand of Fabregas. Fair enough. That sucks that it's given as a pen. Can Unai Simon save us from a bit of embarrassment? Yes, he can. That's a good save. That's another chance for them. Unai Simon keeps saving it. Referee, just end the game. Put me out of my misery, man. There you go, full time. Just want to get out of here. This was awful. Guys, this man, Porto, absolutely tore us a new one. <laughs> like, honestly, I just couldn't handle him. 
In other news, we've got the scout report for Fernandinho, and this is why we couldn't sign him. By the way, he's got a valuation of zero. In January, we're going to try and sign him, boys. Or maybe even before that, because this is ridiculous. And the wages. The wages is why we couldn't sign him. 135,000 is what he's on. Would you look at that? We play Barcelona in the next episode. That's going to be epic for now, though. Celta Vigo. Not going to lie, I really like Fabregas and CDM, so I'm going to continue playing him there. Also, Galvan starts this game because Lopez seems to do nothing man I don't know why that's the team let's see if we can get some points here but this is a tough stadium to visit game has kicked off why aren't we using our away kits man EA 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 I love using the away kits but the game was like nope you're not using them <coughs> Gallardo gets taken out from behind and referee's like you can take it quickly so no no yellow card for that are you kidding me Cabrera driving it forward Positive signs, Galvan back for Cabrera. Asi Presa making a good run, it's a good ball. Controls it, bang, Javier Presa is back. He didn't score in that last game, but now he has. And Belaidos away from home. We get a crucial first goal, and it's Cabrera down the left flank. Bombing forward and getting us the goal. Credit to Galvan, oh Galvan was his name. I think I've got it, Galvan, yeah, it's Galvan. Credit to him for playing it through for him, what a cross. And one thing I'll tell you, I'm seeing our fullbacks getting involved in the attack a lot. Lovely bit of play from our number nine. Three points here could go a long way, especially after we took that L to Real Sociedad. Getting that early lead at Belaidos is going to do us a host of good. Oh, Gallardo is just so nice, man, honestly. Looks for that ball out wide for Galvan here. Back inside for Gallardo. Chance for the finesse shot. Goes for it. Our captain is, is fancying a goal tonight, I guess. Good save. Corner. Gallardo to put this one in. It's a good one. But oh, Casas' is header. How close was it? Let's take another look at it. That's inches wide. Oh. Yo, Galvan is the kind of player who fights for the badge. Honestly, that's what I've noticed so far. He makes mistakes, but he runs his socks off and just gives 110% every game. That's my judgment of Galvan, guys. And let's hope he can keep this up because I'm enjoying using him. Javier Presa. Looking for that ball for Galvan out wide. He controls that one. What's happened here? Is that a foul by someone? We get a free kick and Press is going to take it. I don't think so. We've got Fabregas now for free kicks. Going to see what I can do with Cesc Fabregas here. A lot of power behind it. And it's off the crossbar. Cesc Fabregas with an absolute screamer of an attempt. Oh, the dip. Oh, the dip. That was close. Look at that. Off the crossbar. Oh, my days. Leado. Presa. Lovely. Presa with another chance. This time it's his left foot. The two-star weak foot not doing him any good there, but it was still a good attempt. Cabrera looking for Galvan. Smart play to find Presa, who gets away from his man. Finesse shot. Hoof, hoof, hoof. We're trying a lot of attempts from distance. That's a good ball inside. Aspas again on the turn. Problem. Solari now. Nolito off the post. That was close. A chance for Celta there. Ooh, this is problematic. Cabrera helps get out of that situation. I'm loving using Cabrera, man. Just, well, talk about that. He, he took one for the team there. Literally face planted there. Okay, so it's a free kick. Dennis Suarez takes this one and he comes close. Cesc Fabregas. Okay, he's supposed to be CDM for us. Finds Presa in a good spot. Difficult angle. He's going to go for it. Should have tried to square it. I really should have tried to square it there. Presa. Now looking for Navarro. Back for Presa. No, the cutback was ruined. Another free kick opportunity for Celta Vigo. Aspas is good with free kicks. Goes for goal. When I see Mon has it covered. Here we go with Gavi now. Turns his man brilliantly. And he's got a bit of pace on him. Looks tired though. Looks tired. Maybe an early cross. Now Presa's a bit open. We look out wide for our number 10. Navarro, he's turned him there. Unreal from Navarro. Tries to call it in, but oh, the defender comes in with the block. Did you see that turn, though, from our number 10, Navarro? It was brilliant. That was borderline handball as well. Think we need to make changes, boys. I'm going to bring on Schmidt for Fabregas. Want to keep Fabregas fit for his reunion with Barca. Same with Gavi. And I think we'll bring on Lopez now for Galvan. Galvan had a good game. Very impressive. All right. So, set piece. Gallardo puts this one in. Schmidt, who's just been brought on, had a chance there. Oh, that's a good ball and a chance for Nolito. And there's the equalizer. So many late goals this season, man. Huh. Are we at Belaidos? Even if we get a point, it's good. But 
I sense the win here. And oh, I'm just, oh, it's frustrating. But guys, this is going to be how it is in the first season, man. It's going to be a grind. We're not going to be finishing in a Champions League spot in this first season. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be a struggle. But I need you guys to be there for that. Presser, although we might have a chance here. Presser going for goal from distance. Just trying to see if something special could happen there. Oh, they've made a mistake here. No, they haven't. They just almost did. We could have like one last chance here. Presser looks for Navarro. If Presser can continue that run, we couldn't find him. And I think that's going to be full time. Yep, that's the story of the game. A hard fought draw is what we get. I'm curious to see La Liga table. Five points out of our first five games in La Liga. Uh, unsure about that, folks, but it is what it is. Next episode, though, we've got Barcelona. Where are they in La Liga? Like, they're probably going to be top of the league. Oh, fifth in La Liga. Okay. It's going to be a trip. No, it's not going to be a trip. They're visiting us, but that's going to be epic. Later the episode for this one. It's, it's tough. It's tough. But I think, I think we'll give it to Cabrera. An assist for that pressure goal. Solid defensively for the most part. I think we're going to go him. But for now, guys, this is where we're wrapping up today's episode. I know what you're thinking right now. I haven't spoken anything about our youth academy. Well, that's coming in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying the series, drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.